the Korean word for and, or should I say words for and. In Korean, there are two types of and. There's a type that goes between two nouns, and there's a type that goes between two verbs. In this lesson, we'll learn about the type that goes between two nouns. And we'll also learn the Korean word for with, because that ties in very nicely. Like many words in Korean, and has a casual version and a polite slash formal version. Actually, there are two casual versions. Hago and wrong if the previous word ends in a vowel, and irong if the previous word ends in a consonant. The wrong irong version is the extra casual version. And you use both of these versions as suffixes. For example, mom and dad. Mom, hago, dad. Ama, hago, apa. Mom, wrong, dad. Ama, wrong, apa. And here's an example with a word that ends in a consonant. Laptop and cell phone. Notebook, kirang, handapon. The formal slash polite version is not really all that formal, but it's the most respectful one we've got. And it is wa when the previous word ends in a vowel, and guo when the previous word ends in a consonant. This can be a little tricky to remember, because here you have a noun that ends in a consonant and a suffix that begins in a consonant. This is different from a lot of the suffixes we've seen so far, so be very careful not to get your wa and your guo mixed up. Our example, mom and dad, with the formal polite version of and, looks like this. Mom, wa, dad. Ama, wa, apa. Laptop and cell phone. Notebook, gua, handapon. Try a couple examples yourself. How do you say Romeo and Juliet? Will and Grace. Dolce and Gabbana. Here's the answers. Don't read them till you tried it yourself. Now, what if you have three or more things in the list? In Korean, you have to put and in between every word. For example, mom and dad and little brother. Ama rang apa rang nam dong seng. Ama hago apa hago nam dong seng. Ama wa apa wa nam dong seng. Now let's make sentences. If you're using mom and dad as the subject of your sentence, you put the subject marker at the end of the last noun in the list only. So it looks like this. Mom rong dad nin dance. Ama rong apa nin chum chuo. Mom hago dad nin dance. Ama hago apa nin chum chuo. Mom wa dad nin dance. And we would do the same thing if we were using the other subject markers too. I have a video on subject markers in the description if you're interested. If you don't know subject markers, you can still understand the rest of the lesson without it. Try an example for yourself. How do you say Romeo and Juliet kiss? Here's the dictionary form of kiss. Kisa hada. It's a regular hada verb. Pause the video and figure it out. Here's the answer. Don't cheat. Now, you've seen the title of this video. We're supposed to learn with as well. But what if I told you that you already have learned the word with? Because these words not only mean and, but also with. I never really realized just how easily interchangeable the words with and and actually are. You can say burger and fries or burger with fries. You can say socks and sandals or socks with sandals. It's practically the same thing. But let's take a look at that sentence we made, mom and dad dance. If instead we wanted to say mom dances with dad, we would need to make a few changes with our suffixes. In this sentence, the subject is not mom and dad, it's only mom, so mom gets the subject marker. 
momnen. Remember, an important rule of Korean grammar is that the verb almost always goes at the end of the sentence. And where does with go? Well, it's a suffix. You attach it to the end of the thing that the subject is doing the verb with. In this example, mom is the subject and dance is the verb. So what is mom dancing with? Dad. So dad gets the with attached to it. Momnen dad rong dances. And in Korean, amanen aparong chumchua. And of course, we can make similar sentences with the other versions of with, hago and wa slash gua. And there's one more little thing that we need to add to the sentence to make it correct in Korean. And that is the word together, hamge. And it fits right in here, between the with and the verb. Amanen aparang hamge chimchua. Amanen apahago hamge Literally, mom, dad, with, together, dance. Or, mom dances together with dad. It seems a little redundant in English, but in Korean, having the word together in there is very important. You can think of dad as being the object of the sentence, and then notice that we have the same subject, object, verb, word order that we've seen before in Korean. Or at least those of us who have watched my video on three word sentences have seen it before. I try to make each of my videos self-contained, but the lessons do build on each other a little bit. Now it's your turn. How do you say Romeo kisses with Juliet? Here's the answer. Use the pause button. Try not to cheat. Okay, who would have thought that one little three-letter word in English would be so complicated in Korean? And we're not even done yet. The next video will teach you how to use and between two verbs. It's a different word entirely. Here are a couple more examples if you want more practice using and slash with. It's also a good way to build vocabulary and practice your conjugation. The first part is just noun and noun. In the second part, you add a verb or adjective to make a sentence. Remember in Korean, adjectives are conjugated just like verbs. And in the third part, you make sentences using the word with. The answers are in the comments section. I hope you join me for my next video. But for now, 안녕히 계십시오, and thanks for studying with me.